Do you find yourself opening a bunch of apps and windows and then you're constantly flipping through them all day long? I'll show you a shortcut that lets you switch between apps and windows on your computer with the click of a button today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hi and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm a tech and productivity trainer and the owner of Gateway Productivity. Today I want to show you a shortcut that can save you a lot of time. You may not realize that when you have tons of windows and applications open on your computer, you're constantly flipping through them and trying to find things. When you're bouncing around from place to place, trying to figure out what's going on, where things are, you're losing a lot of hours every week and you're constantly having to switch tasks. That means it can take you up to 15 minutes to figure out what the next thing is to do. So once you've spent a couple minutes trying to figure out which window is the one you want, and then you finally get there, it'll take you another probably 10 to 15 minutes to get on a roll with what you were going to do. Our shortcut today can eliminate all of that. To switch from one open application or window on your computer to another, you're going to use the Alt key for a PC or the command key for a Mac. So first you hold down that, either the Alt or the command key, and then you're going to hit the tab key at the same time. So again, you're holding down Alt or command and then hit the tab key. As you do that, each time you hit tab, it will go from one open app or window to another. You can see it scrolling through. And then let's say you needed to go backwards. You have a bunch of them open and it'd be faster for you to go backwards. Keep holding down the Alt or Command, hold down Shift, you're gonna have multiple fingers involved here. Alt or Command, hold down Shift, and then hit that Tab key again and it'll go backwards. You see how now it's going backwards through my list. This is a shortcut that can save you tons and tons of time. And again, it's something you might not realize you're losing time on right now, that will be extremely valuable to you in the future. Once the app or window that you want is highlighted, let's say I want to go to my website, then you can let go of everything and it will open that window. Now I'd like to share a bonus shortcut with you. I showed you how to switch between the open windows and tabs, but what if you have a lot of web pages open in the same browser? Let's talk about how to switch between those quickly. So open your web browser and on a PC, you can use control tab to switch through. And in the same way that we talked about switching backwards, you can hold shift and tab to go backwards between the tabs. Now, if you are on a Mac, you will do shift command and the arrow keys to do the same thing. Shift, Command, and the arrow keys, or Command, Shift. That's probably the order they are from bottom to top on your keyboard. Command, Shift, and the arrow keys. Another option, if you know exactly which tab has what, you can hold down the Control key and type the number of the tab that you want. So in this case, let's say I want my fifth tab, which is square. I'll hit Number five, I'm holding down the control key, hitting number five. Get back to my website is number one. So if you always open your web browser windows in the same order, your tabs in the same order, then you can get used to what number is what and use this trick to switch from one to the other. So again, it is control tab to switch through if you don't know which one is which and then hold down control and hit the number if you know which tab you want. And on a Mac, this is command shift and the arrow keys to move between or command and the numbers to get to the exact tab that you want. Getting used to using any shortcut can take you a while. So be patient with yourself, use it when you think of it and start to build the habit. And you will find that over time, this may not be completely life-changing, but it'll make your life a lot easier. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below, or you can put questions down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also leave a thumbs up for the video, or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below, 
Once you do that, a bell icon will show up. And if you click on that, you'll get notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.